Just a quick aside. I uh, hope that some of you noticed that there was a little collectible here, which is where we first met the Hell Knight. It's actually underneath the... Um... <laughs> it's really cool. It's underneath the platform that we're on. It's just a little collectible, presumably a model of ourselves, and to give us a weapon upgrade point. So uh, I'm down with it. But uh, on to the main episode in... Now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Doom. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, introduction, little snippet, little prologue, little prelude, little... Hello, I found a chibi of myself section at the start of that. Um, I'm just going to go... I found this codex, which is the one I told you at the end of the last episode that I was going to go and get. I found the little introduction thing on the way to this, and I'm just going to click through these for you to pause on. So here's the imp one. Uh, we've got a second one, basically. Despite the low status, imps have unique characteristics, elevated position, rush. So they, they work differently, basically, is what they're saying. Not all imps just stare at you and throw fireballs, uh, like they did in the original game. Channeling hell energy and change projectile sucked in to the maelstrom so uh it it gives you a bit of lore as to how the fireball is created we'll learn about the hell knight which is what we've been fighting all this time looks a little bit different from its uh, original ancestors and here is the hell razor which is the thing that's been shooting this beam of light at me which is pretty painful and um, we've also got um some upgrade points not for this for this uh i'm not entirely sure it's worth spending any money on any of the other things well obviously we can't afford that we can't afford that um i don't think i want to upgrade the charge burst although i think i might start trying to use the charge burst once we've let's let's switch to it and see if we like it uh and i'm gonna keep going and finding the very last objective which is the very first one we found although honestly i'm not sure if i know where it is also i've just noticed that so let's go to that there's a health thing up there, which is also relevant to my interests. So we need to find our way back upstairs. I think we've been here already. So we're not particularly concerned about the fact that we're hella trapped. I am slightly concerned that I'm trapped. Following this blood trail, actually, um, leads me to believe a possibility that maybe this is where that person went with his hand that we need to override the security up, up there somewhere. In fact, that does seem relevant because obviously that's a place we've already been. And I was hoping that maybe he was around here somewhere? Around here? You're around here. Ah! Jesus Christ! Did you see that shit? That's pretty, uh, pretty nifty. Run away though. Low ammo and low health. Come on then. I have literally run away because I'm a scaredy coward. But now we have to get back up there. Okay. Let's do that then. I kind of want to um, glory kill this one for all the HP that I could get from it. Mm. I do have a suspicion that in this game you get random spawns. Are you pathfinding towards me right now? Is that what's happening? Where are you? Down there? Over there? Over here? Probably over here. There you go. I found you. So the charge burst is just several shots at once in a row. There we go. Kill it. Get some HP back. There's lots of HP drop out of one of those glory kills, which is super good. And we earned a weapon upgrade point for the thing. I'm going to keep the explosive shot, although I have noticed that I've started actually taking damage from it. Uh, so that's not ideal. We want some HP, which is available up these stairs. Uh... Excuse me? These stairs. We also want some ammo, but I'm not sure quite where I'm going to get those from. That's what we like. Uh, that jerking, if you heard it, was actually me. Not sure what caused that. Database health station. Same standard design as the previous vessel. Health pack. Nanobot dispersal. It uses nanobots to heal you real quick. Okay. I'm hearing that. Are you hearing that? Where are we going? Where are we going? We want to go over there, but meanwhile we discovered that over here... We still want to figure out how to get to that, but I'm assuming it opens when you put your... Uh, the hand that you steal, which is, I'm assuming, how it's going to work, into the... Um, uh, and, and reduce the security, override the security measures in place. So we're going to go over here. I'm worried that I'm hearing fireballs from imps, and I'm going to be jumped at any point. 
by the legions of hell, or at least one legionnaire of hell. Maybe not the whole lot all at once. That's a little bit melodramatic. So this is where we want it to be. Up here somewhere is the other one of those little dudes. In here? Yes. Found you. <laughs> hey, look. Plasma rifle model prototype guy. What does that do? Extras? Hey. Where's my dude? Here we go. There are two UAC Marine Guy collectibles in every map. Each one you find will unlock a model. See if you can find them all. Oh. Where's that then? Collectibles. I don't know where that is. <laughs> oh. We have four of these now. Again, I don't really want to buy any of this. I mean, I kind of do. I'm not interested in that right now. I want to buy... Honestly, I, now I'm starting to wonder if I should have bought the thing that stops me taking so much damage from my own hubris when I uh, use the explosive shots because they are actually causing me some trouble right now. I, I thought originally that they weren't hurting me and then I discovered that, you know, as with all things that you think are not hurting you, it was hurting me. So we're going to go back out here. See if we can figure out how to get to that very original problem that we had, which is that... Oh. Oh. That is interesting. I like that you will grab onto things that you are supposed to be able to get onto. Right, how the heck do we get back up there? Straight ahead. Cross the thingy. Straight ahead. I remember it was the one... The very first one we got to. So now we need to find this very final Gorn nest. We have still only got five ammo for our um, shotgun here, though. Still don't know how to get into this. And now we need to figure out where that Joker went. Down here so that we can override the security system completely. So you want me to... Playback available. Can't, can't press it again. Interesting. Um, oh, that is actually helpful. Oh, that's what we like to see. Oh, a bit of armor as well. Sorted. Can I do this now? No. So I definitely need to go and find where that Hell Knight brought that man. I'm on fire. Don't want to be. Your underwear. So I like that. We've already found that. That's where we've been. Oi. Right, so where did this chap go? Where did that Hell Knight drag that man? It's got to be around here somewhere, no? I was expecting to fight the Hell Knight, you see. For possession of the man. I've yet to be bethesda by this game as well, which is surprising. To me. No actual horrendous bugs. I guess if you play the game fairly straightforwardly, you're not going to necessarily find too many bugs, even if it is a Bethesda game, because I don't really get scuppered in Fallout 4 by too many bugs either. So, I mean, this is the only place to go, and this is shut. Is it you? Oh my god, it was him all along. I was blind as about. I apologise for my complete failure to notice that person in the original Walk through here in the uh, first episode. Don't even try it, sunshine. Any more of you? Come on. Out with it. All right, let's use this bloke's... Yeah, just stick that there and let it... Gross. <laughs> Appreciate the, um... The effect. Gas leak stopped. All you need to do is press a button, which the computer could have done automatically. That's one of the... I mean, I complain about this on every single episode, basically. Why? Was that even a thing? Let's kill this crappy thing. Man. Sort this shit out. Where are you? Come on, then. Come on, then. How did every one of those miss? Me ammo. That's what we like. Ammo. Ammo. Nope. Got three M. How did I get three... How did I get my ammo back for this? Maybe you just happened to get it from beating the shit out of these motherfuckers. <laughs> this is amazing. Everything die. 
Oh, it's done. He's done it. What a um, fucking legend. Apologies for the swear word, but uh, it was necessary because of how legendary that was just now. Am I using the explosive shot? I think that's what the double bars mean. Oh, that was it. I just chain sword the entire thing to death. Why didn't I get more? Uh, why didn't I get more points from my top right things there? The the weapon, the combat prowess things. What's this? Well, now I can turn the heat down. That was fun. Again, I apologise for completely blanking on that really, really obvious thing in the last episode, but we got there eventually. You know, it's not like it's not like I'm still blanking on it now. I didn't actually put a cut in the episode, so I didn't blank on it that much. Although I did say we'll come back in the next episode. Uh, and then not really explored. So let's check out here. Is there anything we need to collect? There's only that armour, which may have been made available to us because of the fact that we overrode the security on that thing. That gas leak is not part of this gas leak. Kill it. Terrific. It wasn't. Wonder how you opened that. Oh. Up here. A torch would be nice. I want to hold down my pit boy button, but I don't have one. Ba 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 da da ba 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 look at it. It does appear that it is an entire section, which means if we go... There's more. There's a bit over here that I can't get into. Does it... It does uh, link to... Oh, that is... Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Pardon me while I use this area once more to fulfil my ends. I'm guessing we can't just jump here. No. We can impact compensation, though. That's fine. Platformers in a 3D game are super annoying, but in this one, I'm actually really glad that they implemented this grab ledge functionality. Because uh, it just makes it doable, I guess. Here we go. Found it. Get some more weapon prowess points for it as well. Combat prowess. Whatever it's called. That's several secrets. Oh, there more secrets. There's one more secret. We haven't really done any of these, which is kind of annoying. But again, we do get the opportunity to come back and do these in the future. Because I didn't really find any explosive barrels that seem suitable for the, uh, for the completion of the challenge. And I'm guessing that is the way... No, that was the way in. So we want to go out through that one over there. I assume so. It doesn't have the thing on it anymore, so... This feels like that's the whole level, but... It's possible that there's way more to it. I want the assault rifle, I think. Fill up some HP. Don't forget, because we're not little babies, we are playing on ultra hard. Ultra violence. Do I want to press that? That seems like a bad idea for now. Nothing's happening, so we might as well press it. There's going to be combat. There should be combat, you know? Bring it the heck on, right? Stand the hell still. No pun intended. Although it did sound like that was one. Kill. Kill. You ever play uh, any of the Batman games? I assume they're all very similar. Where you get to... Jump into a pod of enemies and just... Beat them up in interesting ways, in order. Like, you jump from one to the other. That's what I'm kind of hoping this game can do. Because I glory kill one, and I really want to just chain them, you know? Charge down several enemies all at once, and feel like an incredible badass. Which I am. According to the uh, five circles at the top of the screen. More? Although I have died several times. Badasses are allowed to do that how you become one, you know? You don't just... You don't start unbadassed. You don't, you don't become a badass just from walking around not taking any damage. Oh, remember, experience is just the name we give to our mistakes. Don't really mean to actually... Ooh, good shot. Kill it, but kill it, I did. Is that all of it? I don't know how much the armor is actually helping me right now. Because I'm assuming that the uh, prowess 
points are related to um, the arcade mode, whatever they're called, points. Missed. Help, help, help. Um, in arcade mode, if you do a lot of damage really quickly, you get a score multiplier, right? And you notice how the prowess is currently going up in white rather than the orange that it starts off as? Which I'm presuming means that uh, whilst that is white, you can gain prowess. Okay. Don't know what hit me, but I didn't appreciate the fact that that imp just beat the shit out of me in my own home. It's, it's rude. That was just rude. I mean, obviously, maybe I shouldn't have got up in the face of that imp and just tried to kill it with a shotgun blast to the face. It didn't actually work out in my favour, but I was kind of hoping that it would have. It's a good job for this Doom Marine, by the way. That the uh, button was that big red one just now. Don't know what these... Um, oh, hello. Don't know what the... Um, different ammo packs look like yet. I saw one just up when I took out that imp earlier. And, I mean, it could have been plasma. Which would involve this. What is this? Right, so the explosive round is interesting that it travels differently. There's something you have to be aware of, I guess. has an arc to it. It's more like a grenade. Which is a uh, useful way of thinking about it, I suppose. Because that's how I'm going to think about it. Um, for now. Don't dodge it. Hell Knights are not supposed to be this agile. Don't appreciate it. But I really enjoy the fact that you can just climb onto these things. Let's uh, try and... Oh, it didn't work. I really want to be able to... There we go. There we go. I'm also kind of tempted to run around um, chainsawing everything. Did that work? Even more metal music than the metal music was before. Even metaler is what I say. Not, not just more metal music, but the music itself is metaler. It has more unit metal in it. This basically means it's slightly louder and slightly more distorted, I guess. Why are you so hard to hit? Also, where is my charge? I still have yet to find uh, an explosive barrel that I can kill any possessed with, let alone three. It quietens out when you uh, have a glory kill. Where did that thing with the... Another bloody Hell Knight. So you have to stop holding down the right mouse button in order to not... Oh god, there's two of them. Um... In order to not actually want to... Like, it's going to try to do an uh, explosive shot, even if you don't have one available. I guess that's okay. You die. Give me some HP. And some ammo. Ammo will be nice. Oh, don't fall off. I assume that the grenade thingy will explode if it hits a wall. In your face. Kill this. He's done it. What a legend. That was some HP as well. It's valuable. That was not the ammo that I wanted it to be. The core temperature is now stabilized. Oh. Interesting. Some sort of... Shells? Is that shells? It looks like shells. Not shells. So this Olivia person, which I was talking about when we ended the last chapter, I suspect that she's going to end up being the cyber demon because I'm going to assume that the game ends with the cyber demon because that is correct. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be slightly sad, but I suppose it is its property. So Are these explosive barrels. No. So the barrels aren't even explosive anyway, so I don't know how you expect me to do that. I keep doing that. It's very frustrating. I mean, part of me appreciates that you don't have to uh, reload. It's very doomy. 
very traditional Doom. But the other part of me is like, please, <laughs> make it so that when I press R, it does the thing I expect. So let's, um, we can't. Honestly, I don't think we have enough to upgrade anything. Power up effectiveness, which we've not really used. Dexterity, maybe. We have a lot of weapon upgrade points simply because I'm so amazing. Could do that. Get a direct hit with the explosive shots. Put on cluster bombs that deal additional damage. That's almost worth um, unlocking that for. So that's going to cost 20 direct hits on imps, presumably with the explosive shots. So we've basically gone for an explosive build, which I'm okay with. Because now I've got it in my sights, at least, that we're going to... Um, careful. We're going to upgrade our predator suit so the explosive bullet doesn't actually hurt us that much. don't really want to press that. <laughs> Help. Oh. Olivia. Authorization. Olivia Pierce. Alpha 4. Zero. Two. Don't appreciate the um, lack of synchronization. She has locked me out, Dr. Hayden. So she does appear to be somewhat upgraded mechanically. Not sure. She is trying to tear open the portal between our world and theirs. Not sure if she is a demon who has possessed a person or a person who is just insane. Or a person who is about to be horribly betrayed by the legions of hell, but she's definitely doing her job. You could not have saved them anyway. That's okay, Olivia Pierce. I'm more interested in the fact that your voice is out of sync, which is a sure sign of possession. At least in my book. Guessing uh, we can't... <laughs> when the game takes away your ability to even look around... I mean, come on, it's Bethesda. Bethesda don't do that. One. Right. I'm seeing if that's uh, what what I want. Zero to twenty. That wasn't an imp then, I guess. Eight somethings. The system won't allow anyone but Olivia to override it now. We will have to shut down the Argent Tower manually from the surface. Oh, which surface? At some point we're going into hell. I can guarantee that. Just realise that's red. Doesn't really look red. Not to me, anyway. Not so much, uh, not so much in the way of ammo munition. So we only did one of the um, challenges, which is a shame. But we've nearly got our weapon upgrade points, anyway. Um, but I'm going to call that the end of this episode. It's been a bit of a shorter one, but we did get through it without actually putting any cuts in it. So I hope you appreciate the fact that I am sometimes capable of paying attention and working out what it is that I'm supposed to do. It's funny, isn't it? Because you can watch a YouTuber play a game and go, it's right there, it's obvious, what's the matter with you? And then you do it yourself. And it's not that obvious, to be quite honest. Even though it really was that obvious and I'm just a ditz for not seeing it the first time. But that's got us through this level. We're slowly unraveling the story. Olivia Pierce is going to no doubt become our end of game boss. And I'm looking forward to that too. Uh, I'm probably going to try these challenges off camera just for my own enjoyment, but rest assured that I will not play any of the story without you lot, and I hope that you lot will join me in the next episode. I also hope that you lot are enjoying other people's content on this channel because that is the point of this channel, and of course, if anybody has any small videos like a, a series that they want to upload irregularly, give me a shout on Discord. Uh, you'll find me as Altrius, you'll recognise the logo from the channel as, as my avatar and if you want to sort of do a, a video a week or two videos a week much like i do we can get the channel going a little bit better by having a few more content creators creating a little bit more content but thank you for watching this episode hope you've enjoyed it and i hope you will join me for the next episode but until then bye bye